Hello, welcome back to the channel, it's JPA here and in today's video I'm going to discuss on Rangers vs Braga tomorrow I'm just going to show you this video guys So, Rangers vs Braga tomorrow, Ibrox, 8pm kickoff. It's uh, Europa League uh, Last 32, it'll also be available on Rangers TV and it'll be available on BT Sports 3 So if you want to catch a game, you can do it that way um, it's going to be an interesting one, um, obviously Rangers form hasn't been that great recently, we know that, uh, but we have won our last two games. If you look at Braga on our hand, when we first got this draw, a lot of people were like, oh, the easy one, if we beat Porto and this this team are sitting 8th in the league, it'll be fine, we'll, we'll beat this, this team, no problem. Since then, uh, Braga have actually got a new manager and the results have improved unbelievably well, they're unbeaten a uh, under this manager and they're in a real rich vein of form the last five games they've uh, won four and drawn one and of those four games they've beaten Porto in a cup final they've beaten Sport in Lisbon and they've beaten Benfica and if you go a couple of back a couple of games back even further they beat uh, Sport in Lisbon again so there's good results in there they're not just uh, scraping uh, results against unknown teams and kind of poor teams in the league. They did draw against Gil Vicente, so they probably should have won that game, to be fair to them, but the rest of the results are fairly positive for them. They are a really good team. They're a really, really physical team. A lot of Porto kind of was like falling about and stuff uh, throughout the match, which is what a lot of European teams do. This team are very, very solid. They've, in fact, had a, quite a few red cards in the, in the last few games as well. Um, but they are very physical. Um they, they do have technical ability as well. Uh, Trincao is their, probably their main star who's just been sold to Barcelona for £26 million. Um, and Barcelona right away have stamped, slapped a, a massive half a billion pound release clause on him, which just shows you how, how much talent this boy actually has. I've not seen him play, but I've heard a lot about him and he's meant to be some, some talent. So we're really need to watch for this guy. Uh, this team are sitting third in the league, which obviously I said earlier that they were eighth in the league when this tie was announced. Now third in the league, which sounds really good. They're still 17 points behind the league leaders Benfica, who they've recently just beaten, and they're 16 points behind Porto, who we beat. That doesn't really go for much, to be honest, because of the form and stuff and the fact that they're playing a much harder league than, than we are. Uh, and saying that, our league's pretty tough because we, we need to kind of battle against 10 defenders most of the time. But... Yeah, it's, got, it's going to be a difficult one. Uh, another thing is obviously going to be VAR. Uh, we've had VAR in this country already, which is uh, Vatican Assisted Referees, where obviously it's so inconsistent. But yeah, it's going to be an, an interesting one with this uh, video of Assisted Referees. Now, I know in England it hasn't quite worked. They're uh, like measuring uh, uh, armpits and stuff for, for offsides, which is a little bit silly. Uh, it doesn't quite work like that in Europe. Um, it's a little bit different, it'll be more towards the way it worked in the World Cup where they're going to have a big screen and kind of looking at it which is a little bit easier. I think there'll be a lot of decisions in these two games, we're a very, very physical side Braga and obviously we've got players like uh, like Morelos, Katic, uh, Davis, Goldson. These kind of players will get stuck in and be very physical so there will be a, a number of decisions to be made. Uh, if you look at our team News, Barisic has been declared fit for this game, he should be back and, and that's a massive, massive boost for us. No disrespect to uh, Halliday, I thought he ran his hair out the other night, but playing against Livingston and playing against Braga is a massive, massive difference and it's great to have uh, our number one left back back in position. Uh, the other question was, is Hadji eligible for this game. I know he played for Genk earlier in the season, but that was in Champions League and I think it might have been a qualifier. I'm not 100% sure on that, but uh, either way, it doesn't matter. He's uh, eligible to play and I'd imagine he will start. Ryan Jack is suspended. Uh, I actually forgot about this until I kind of read up on the game and stuff. Uh, I remember that, that red card in the last couple of minutes um, against young boys which is obviously disappointing there'll be a massive massive miss in there but it'll give the opportunity for somebody like Kamara to probably come in I'd normally say maybe Aribo uh, to come in but I think 
Eddie was probably best suited on the bench and coming on. Kamara uh, is going to be a player who's going to look after the ball a little bit better, a little bit more tidier, and he'll be like a little bit more physical in the midfield, which we'll, we're going to have to need in this game. So in terms of my prediction, I'm going to keep it very, very tight. I think it will be a tight game. Uh, I'm going to go for a result that probably doesn't favour Rangers too much, but I'm going to go for Rangers 1, Braga 1, which is obviously, that'd be a re reasonably good result for us, but it'd be an away goal. I'm quite confident that we can score away from home. Uh, I do believe we can come at teams. Uh, European football seems to suit us better because we're not trying to break teams down as much. Teams will come at us and it's a much more open game. Uh, and we've proved already this season we can score away from home. So I do believe we'll do that. Uh, Morelos for the goal scorer, by the way. I don't think there was any real shock in that. I know he's not been on the greatest of form recently, but he has had two goals stolen away from him from uh, referees. So he's kind of just getting back into the flow of it and he's, he's obviously his, his record in Europe is impeccable this season one of the best in the competition in fact so that's the video pretty much done guys thank you very much for watching as I always say if you're new to the channel please subscribe uh, thank you very much to the people who have subscribed uh, really appreciate it and I'll see you in the next video hopefully it's a really uh, positive video and hopefully I'm wrong and we'll win 2-3 now